For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. Late Thursday afternoon, we were dispatched for a report of an unknown type fire near 4400 block of Jacob Street. As crews were responding, they were notified that the fire was actually a structure. As crews arrived on location, they found the front side wall fully involved and it was extending into the attic space. There was a large debris of material immediately in front of that wall. It was also well involved. We found that all occupants were accounted for. There was a number of pets that were still inside. As crews commenced the interior attack, they did a quick knockdown on the fire on the outside. They moved into the interior through the front door and they hooked the ceilings and controlled the extending fire up in the attic space. They did locate the animals, they did locate them, so they simply just went in there and sheltered them in place and they were all safe. Um, we sure. didn't see any diseased cats. We saw a number of cats that were still running within the inside of the house. It appears to be accidental in nature. We believe it to be an exterior fire that extended to the interior and to that front wall. There was a, a significant amount of debris and weeds surrounding the outside of the property. And uh, so we're finding that to be a common threat through our fires now. We're into wildland season, brush season. And so we're seeing that materials left outside that are catching on fire are quickly extending to structures. Oh, smoke and water damage. And we're not allowed to go in yet until somebody comes, you know. Not no, looking at it. The water damage is atrocious. I mean, the mm -hmm. carpet for one minute, they just mm -hmm. sucked it all up. And it's just, the water, it's still... Wet, 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 and then yeah. all the stuff from the ceiling when they put the hose in, the the, you know, the stuff that falls down is all over everything. And this looked like nothing the day of the fire, it's just like a little bit, but this is so all these are from the fire because yep. I'm right here. When you're holding a fire extinguisher mm -hmm. and you got to get close enough to the fire, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that the fire was like sitting golfing me too. I originally moved up here to take care of my mom, and then this happened so. I smelt it, I got up to look, and I could see the smoke barreling by the bedroom window. Like dark, deep, charcoal smoke. I ran and yelled for him. I yelled for my parents. My mom and dad obviously were frantic. Their house yeah. was on fire. My dad and I tried to get outside to put it out. We couldn't get out the front door. It was already engulfed. We got everybody out safe, minus one kitten. Mm -hmm. um, they said that there was three that passed away. Yeah, I, I only know about the little one because that was the one I was the most concerned about. But um, there were there were a couple that did. Well, this is the first time I've dealt with anything like this, and uh, honestly, there's uh, there's so many moving parts and a lot going on. Uh, the biggest thing is my parents are okay. Um, you know, there's some minor, you know, you've seen the burns on his hands, and my mom did pass out and hit her head on the pavement when she was outside, and she got checked for that, and she's okay, so that's the most important part, is they're okay. Is there a loss of stuff? Absolutely. Uh, you know, things like finding lodging and all that, and um, I actually meet the uh, adjuster today at noon, and we'll go through all, all that kind of stuff, because um, honestly, my parents are almost 70, and it's a lot for them to deal with. Um, I set up a GoFundMe page for them, um, I might have to look it up, it's called Parents House caught on fire today uh, so, you know, if you want stop by the store send me an email call um i actually want to say thank you to uh, uh chief lewis and staff were here mm -hmm. i think very very quickly yeah. you know and then like i said I've, I've had so many customers just already call me when they've seen the news or mm -hmm. the uh, the facebook mm -hmm. of course it was on facebook immediately yeah. you know my phone started ringing are your parents okay um can i help can we offer this so i also want to thank um Actually, just pretty much everybody in town yeah. and all my old customers have been uh, absolutely fantastic. So uh, the number up at Threads is 775-751-5151. Uh,